And I noticed that you don't use spot tags. Is there a specific reason for that? Yeah, we don't like to invade the sharks uh, with spot tags here at the Neptune Islands. The pat tags are less invasive and we select the sharks we use uh, to answer specific questions. But uh, we don't want to catch these sharks. We, we love these sharks and we think that's unnecessary to invade that. So you think that you might be doing some harm to the shark by catching them? Or? Yeah, yeah. By, by catching the sharks to put the spot tags on the dorsal, you're certainly going to upset the whole social hierarchy. We don't want to disturb the sharks at this special area. The spot tags do tend to damage the dorsal fin of the shark and it's uh, not necessary to do that when you can just tag a, a pat tag, satellite tag, uh, freely into the shark as it's swimming past the platform. It's a, it's a lot less invasive and uh, you get the same data. Plus the advantages of uh, depth and temperature data with the archival tags that the, the pat tag advantages are. So a lot of people just think this is a big, really tough animal that you don't really have to worry about damaging it. Can you, yeah. dumb, it, can you dumb it down for us? How, how does it affect their hierarchy like you just mentioned? Yeah, uh, even though great white sharks are big tough sharks, uh, they've got quite a fragile social system and uh, interestingly we've seen even when one shark in the social structure of an area has been upset, sometimes we see a mass exodus of sharks from the area. And that's been seen when killer whales invade the area or when a shark has been caught or killed. And when you just mess around with them, they, they clear out of the area. And um, even a big tough shark, um, if it's stressed, um, it can be a real fine balance out there in nature, you know, we're, they're on the edge. Predator-prey relationships are finely tuned and if you stress out a big predator, it can tip the balance away and, and that shark can struggle to survive. 